So from the living room, we walk into the kitchen. This is the kitchen. This is the kitchen. And this is our kitchen. We normally don't have um, 20 lemons in a bowl, but I was told this morning at about 7.15, can you go get 24 lemons? This is the main part of the house. It is the kitchen. This works as a dining table as well. It has built-in hibachi grills. And then there's four ovens for, I don't know, when you wanna make four cakes at the same time, I guess. This is the stove. And a little story about this little guy here. I, I had never seen these before. It's a pot filler. So you don't have to you know, put water in it and carry it. You just can do it right here. That's when I knew that I wanted the house because I thought that if somebody thought about this, they probably thought about other things too. There's water, it's magic. This is where we like to cook when we learn how oh, to. Oh, and pink plates. We went a bit nuts on that. I cook. No, you don't. I cook. You've never cooked in here. I've cooked with plastic knives and forks before we moved to any cutlery. Um, We're still using chopsticks, but. Anyway. I've used this. Yeah, I cook. I mean, the most we ever cook in here, quite honestly, is probably a toasted bagel, maybe some iced tea and a coffee. It's the old joke. What's my favorite thing to make for dinner? It's reservations. White quartz on the counters. I wanted to do marble, but my mom suggested to not do it because she knew it would get all stained and stuff eventually. Love the way this kitchen turned out. Um, this little area right here, it was already here, but it was just designed in a way different way. It used to like come up right here and it was just kind of ugly before and it's a comfortable spot to chill, eat breakfast or whatever. Got this nice gray distressed leather. I don't cook that often. My roommate does. I'm not too much of a cook. Now I feel like when I have friends over, it's, we like kind of gravitate in, into hanging out in here a little bit too, it's around this area, it's comfy. This is the kitchen, and it always looks like this, which is, you know, lemons. Can you even eat? Fresh fruit, oh, of it's course brown. you can eat right. it. We honestly just like did minor tweaks to this kitchen. We painted this island black. We of course changed the wood floors in here, painted the ceiling a warmer color, because there's so much tile detail that you never really noticed it because everything is white. But right. all of these walls are wrapped in tile, which is so beautiful. And then the cabinets. The cabinets yeah. on the inside of those were all white before, and Chad was like, you need to have all the same kind of plates, all white, keep it fresh, charcoal in the back so that everything pops. And at first I cursed his name because I had so many mix-matched plates. But then, like four plates. I had about four plates. Yeah. Now you she did has all the like shelves. dinnerware for 200 but again, just us. It's just us. This is probably the kind of table that I should have. It's perfect yeah, for just you and it. me, Angel. But we still, we don't even sit here, we sit here. We always sit up here. Because this is like engaged, there's plugs to like plug things in and the fast yeah. food comes here. That's true. This kitchen actually we didn't really have to change that much because the layout was exactly what it was and this island was exactly how it was. The same stone, even the same paint on the base. This kitchen, for whatever reason, the second we walked into it, it felt like the heart of the home and it really is the heart of the home. Every morning, every evening, every moment. Eek. That makes it that much sweeter. Yeah, so this is really where we spend all of our time. It's a double island kitchen, so it's nice. You could work on one, eat on another. Carrera marble, Carrera backsplash, Carrera countertops on both, and then just a lot of white, just clean. You can find more white if you need to paint when your kid hits a wall, so I kind of keep it easy. Something about white stone is just classic, and it's always gonna be nice. I don't think it's ever gonna go out of style. Basically just water, Gatorade, and ginger ale and matzo ball soup because everybody's sick in the house. And if one kid gets sick, evidently everybody gets sick. You know, I like to try to keep everything as organized as possible. We have label makers that label everything pretty much down from tortilla chips to candy to popcorn that's gluten-free actually, cereals that are gluten-free. And then there's some hidden sections with the food that's, you know, not as good for you, but I don't let my kids see that. Once you get organized, it's just easier. I love that, again, there's no door, so it feels still relatively open, but we have those comfortable spaces, smaller spaces. We've made the cabinets gray to make it feel a little more modern. We added brass touches to make it somewhat classic. This is a, a concrete, a custom concrete countertop. 
I am very comfortable with my masculinity and my femininity. I'm more feminine than masculine. But when I designed the house, I didn't want it to feel like a woman's home, like a girl's home. I think it would have been equally lovely, and but more feminine, I think, to add a, like a marble countertop. It would have been very nice, but I like that this feels a little more industrial and robust. I loved this Viking oven. I bake constantly. I cook almost every day. I bake almost every day. And so the, the kitchen's very, very important to me. Um, and I like that I have enough space to be able to make a meal for 12 people. The only thing I want to do when I'm home is either sit on my sofa and watch TV or be in here cooking something wonderful or baking something wonderful for my husband and my friends. It makes me so happy. My husband is a wonderful artist and a very successful artist. Every now and then he'll let me keep the pieces that I'm obsessed with and so we'll have it in the house. However, what we'll find is that it'll be up for a month and then he gets sick of it and he wants to move on to something else. He's a typical artist, it drives me insane. I don't cook, I always like order food or I go out. This is my favorite. What I obsess over the most is having like a clean fridge because I would always see it on like TV shows and stuff and I feel like, I don't know, I'm like a kid. I actually don't eat any of this stuff. I don't drink. I mainly drink water. I'm like a big water drinker. So that's kind of all I drink. I'm never in here other than to take Advil or Biotin because I'm scared that my hair is thinning. I literally have Chipotle every day. I cannot stress that enough. I have it seven to nine times a week. I have the card where I can get unlimited Chipotle throughout the year. And they also have an option where I can cater food for free. So we catered it. So after the shoot, you guys can have some. Or maybe I can just finish it up. I don't care. This is my bonsai tree I bought in Malibu. The guy told me it was 25 years old. I don't know if he was being serious. And I go, okay, I'll get it. Because I was so excited about something being older than me. And now we grow up together, it's really cool. Oh, actually, this is fun. Because you like really have to water these trees. So I'll do this and I'll pretend it's raining. We don't have a lot of fun around here. So this is the kitchen. Just like wanted it to feel like raw sort of materials. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just didn't want to get too many materials going on. So we have stone, wood, concrete. That's pretty much what we are working with here yeah. in this house. We um, cook a lot of meals in here. She cooks a lot of meals in here. Fondest. I eat a lot of meals. This is our refrigerator. We sort of wanted it to just blend into the rest of the house. We rented a house in Manhattan Beach that had one of these Lacanche ovens from France. And we said the next time we own a home, uh, we want to put one in. So this was a big deal for us. So this is a custom brass pot rack. Sometimes I hit my head and it's in my sight line, but um, probably only twice a day that I hit my head. I put the kitchen on the ground floor. A lot of people put it up in the parlor rooms, in the big rooms, but I liked it down here off the garden and it's really cozy. And the babies that my little ones are three and four, Sailor and Lula, and they just trash everything. <laughs> they have their cute little kitchen. We just play in here a lot and have a really nice time all cooking and eating and laughing and kind of like an open door snacking policy. I love this kitchen. We actually added quite a bit of storage that you can't see from where, where you're standing right now. But when you come in, you're going to see there's a whole shelf up here. This whole beam was basically created and it all flows into these metal shelves over here. We tried to find storage in every possible nook and cranny. And it's a great kitchen to cook in. Also, Justin likes to eat paleo a lot, um, so I'm cooking him a lot of paleo food. Um, this bread actually, let's just call it photo shoot bread because we never have a full loaf of bread unless never. we have AD here shooting photos. Little sure. peek behind the curtain for those of you who are watching this video. Some stuff is brought in. Our designer, Peter Gursky, who also designed the set for Will and Grace, often gets us made things from the Warner Brothers lot and the great team at Warner Brothers made this cock for us. After a bar in New York City called The Cock. It's a gay bar. It's a gay bar. And also roosters are good luck. Roosters are good luck, good, very good luck in kitchens, yes. I don't know if people knew that, but we thought it would be a funny and sweet homage to uh, a New York institution. This is the kitchen, which I do mostly nothing in. This is Agate. So I had a friend that was living with me and she loved Agate. And so we picked out these kind of like mild neutral colors because the cabinetry was already done. And I kind of liked that it was a weird color, like a light blue kind of medical grade color. I just thought that was funky. And I thought, why not like, let's enhance that. The countertop was just 
flat and like half the size of this. So I wanted to extend it and have different levels. So there's a cooking area and then there was like kind of a loungy area. This is where most people end up smoking cigarettes at the end of the night at my house. If they smoke inside, which I'm totally for, I want people to do whatever they want whenever they want. This is where you would prepare the food from what I've seen. This is an espresso machine and if you look closely, you'll see the directions are all here for me because I'm too stupid to figure out how to do it on my own. So this is my medicine jar. This is where I keep a lot of my joints and weed and what have you. Sometimes I find other things in here that are even more exciting. You know, this is my lifestyle.